Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to a new Isaac series. This is the road to a million percent. Uh, and basically, for those that don't understand what's going on here, it is a fresh, brand new Isaac file, file number three, for those that care. I mean, you can do this on any file, but we are going to work our way back up. Fresh file, make our way to a million percent, but we're going to use the heavily modded mod pack that we've been using in the heavily modded series. This series will replace it, uh, and it'll just be a way for us to start from scratch and do a lot of really fun stuff. However, let's talk real quick. Uh, we can't actually get achievements with mods unless we beat Mom's Heart, which means that we have to do two runs uh, of Vanilla Isaac making our way to Mom's Heart uh, before we can move on to the rest of the game. So we're going to hope to accomplish some stuff uh, in this first episode. And honestly, my goal is that this might be a tiny, tiny, tiny bit longer of a video. Because uh, I'm going to try to wipe out the two vanilla runs that we need to do right in this episode. Uh, and hopefully we'll unlock some other stuff too, such as uh, new characters and stuff like that. We're going to have to do all the post-its all over again. Which means, yes, doing greed mode, doing the lost, doing all of the things that I literally never ever wanted to do ever again. How excited am I for it? I'm basically not at all. Uh, but it should be a good time honestly, uh, and I'm excited to hopefully bring some people together and have this be a monumental move on my channel as one of my shticks, the fact that I'm doing a entire file from scratch modded, which I don't think any other YouTubers are doing, and I think that is pretty cool, and I'm excited to do it. So if you guys want to hop on this roller coaster ride with me on the journey to the road to a million percent. It's like going down the yellow brick road in the Wizard of Oz, except we're going down a road that's covered in your mom's uterus uh, and dark bum and all kinds of other freakishly sexual but not so sexual things. So hopefully you guys enjoy the ride. Uh, I know I'm going to. We still got an item room on this floor and Jesus juice is just okay. I suppose I could also do a little bit of a tutorial here if you guys wanted me to. Uh, and literally talk through exactly what I'm doing for the first couple runs of this, since it is technically a Starter Isaac series. Uh, but I feel like most of you, I mean, I'm just assuming most of you understand how Isaac works now. But if not, uh, we'll, we'll try to explain a couple things. Uh, we picked up Jesus Juice, which is a damage upgrade. You can see the stats in the left side of the screen. You can turn that HUD on. Uh, I believe it's not on by default, but it's in the option menu if you want to do that. Uh, currently, we're looking for the item room. There's one per floor, unless it's an extra large floor, which it will tell you uh, if that's the case. And our item room just gives us an item. It'll be a random item, one of our choice, not really, because it's random, uh, and it will provide us with benefit on the run. This is the shop, but we don't have money uh, to really do much in here. Yeah, we only have three cents, so we can't buy anything in there. We'll have to work the donation machine back up. There's so much to do. Uh, and we get ourselves a Monster Manuel, which is, you know, I mean, pretty bad in all honesty here. But we do have five cents, which means we can spawn an arcade on the next floor. If you got five cents on even numbered floors, we're on the first floor, so next floor will be the second. Five cents on even floors gives you a chance at an arcade. Uh, we can use the arcade to get some more money and gamble away our lives, similar to how your father did. Okay, let's head on down. To the next floor deal with the devil floor which means we don't want to take any red heart damage here uh and otherwise burning basement 2 kind of sucks that's a tinted rock right there you can see it because there's a little x on it it feels really weird to do this right now by the way i'm just throwing it out there uh to literally talk about isaac as if i've never played it before it feels weird but we can blow these up you can place bombs by pressing e on your keyboard gave me a bomb and a key back give me two bombs back which is okay. But we do not want to get hit here. I was kind of hoping we got a spirit heart from our tinted rock because that would have really like benefited us because we could have gotten hit and it wouldn't have mattered because of the spirit heart. We just can't take red heart damage. But a deal with the devil gives us the ability to get a bunch of good items, good damage related items that can benefit our run uh, superbly. I am going to blow this up to get the key. And hopefully a little bit of money, but no. The pots sometimes will give money. Sometimes they just say, screw you, your face, and uh, ruin your day. And then I have a feeling where there's going to be a secret room right here. 
There's not, but we do get this chest, which contains a bomb, and then you know what? We might as well, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. I'm gonna look for a secret room there. Still nothing. We'll take the pill. It's telepills. Didn't really harm us or hurt us in any way, shape, and form. Self-sacrifice room we don't care about. This is likely the way to the boss, uh, but I do still want to find our item room. Yes, this is the way to the boss. We will probably go back for our item room before going to our boss fight, just because if there's a good damage item in our uh, item room, I want to get that before the boss fight, just to ensure we have a better chance of beating him flawlessly. But we're doing fine on this run. Uh, it feels weird to not play Isaac modded, because I've been playing Isaac modded basically every single day for the past two months, uh, and to play a vanilla run with, like, half of the crap in the game not on, not even unlocked feels weird, man. I mean, it really does feel a little bit wacky, but what, what am I gonna do? It's a new series, new me. What do we got? Minor Axe. I mean, Notched Axe is really bad. But I will come through here, and we'll get one penny by doing that. And to those of you that are asking, mm, Notched Axe, Tyler, that's probably a reference to the hit game from 2009, Minecraft. You're right. What a person you are. Okay, we'll place one bomb, get two back, and also get a penny out of this. The shop does have, like, some value here. And since we have a key, you know what, let's go in there, uh, and we'll just take a look what's in your book reading rainbow uh and see what we got in the shop one key for sale i think our best bet is to just donate as much money as we can uh and as you donate you get uh more benefit in future runs you get the donation machine up to 999 you're unlocking new items new stuff like that poop can sometimes give you coins uh, as it did right there but your boy is also lazy which means that he doesn't really want to pop uh poop all the time but there we go. We already got blue map unlocked, which is fantastic. One step in the right direction. Let's go. And I have a feeling our secret room is going to be right here. It is. Okay, cool. We get a chest. That chest contains one penny. I'll keep the penny because why not? But we'll blow up this shopkeeper and then also blow up an exit to this room to save the slightest bit of time. Beautiful. Okay, let's go fight our boss. Deal with the devil time, boys. I'm excited. Let's get this going. I'm feeling good. Just finished up the stream for the day. Which means I'm I'm not exactly energized. I'm low energy. We get Bob's Brain from Monster Manual. It will spawn us a random familiar. And frankly, Bob's Brain is not exactly a bad familiar to have uh, in a boss fight. As we can control him to do some good damage for us. He is a controversial item because it can blow you up. But we like him. Monstro's Tooth. And Basement Boy have been achieved. We get a nice Tears upgrade and a Spirit Heart. And then, I mean, sure. I think that why not? We'll take both of them. Live life on the edge a little bit. Uh, but we're now able to fly, which is cool. And then we have a little freaking whatever baby that was. Which is not that great, but oh well. We unlocked Eve. We unlocked Samson. These are both positives. I would like to unlock Mom. So that we can actually play with mods. But it's going to take time. Uh, we, we will get there eventually. It's going to be a long series. Because I think it's going to be a long, long time. We're going to be playing Isaac from scratch again. I'm not the man. I'm not the Isaac that I was at home. Oh, no, no, no. We're a rebirth man. Da -na -na. Okay. Elton John's rolling around in his grave. Tyler, Elton John's not dead. He is after hearing that. Let's make our way through here. We have not gotten hit on this run yet. It would be awesome if we could get the uh, achievement for not getting hit on the second or the third and fourth floor as well. We did. That's what Basement Boy was on the first floor was not getting hit on the first and second floor. But if we can get it for this floor too, that'd be pretty swell. And it would make me quite happy. But we don't exactly have fantastic damage on this run. Our rate of fire is okay. And that's mainly Binky that did that for us. But we're going to need a little bit more damage if we have any hope of uh, getting further here. Piercing shots will help. This allows us to pierce our enemies. And it's going to make dealing damage significantly easier on this run. So honestly, it was a 10 out of 10 pickup for us. 
I don't really think the shop has any value. We're once again not very high on the old funds. But you know what? I am going to take the time to go in here simply to continue to donate all the money I get. The further we bring this donation machine up, the happier we're going to be in the long run. I know we're borderline a hit away from death here. Uh, and it's a sketchy situation to be in, I'll be honest with you. Because one or two hits on us. And, I mean, this run's going to be over. And do I really want to be known as having my first run on this series be a failure? And the answer to that is, I do not. I want the first run to be a success. And I want my life to be beautiful. We get growth hormones. And then we get the pentagram in here. But we cannot take this or else we're going to die. So, do not take it. It's sad, but true. We cannot take that. And then, honestly, we're just going to go down. We did get a little extra damage from growth hormones, which is absolutely phenomenal. I couldn't be happier about it. But, uh... I can't deny. I would like the tiniest bit of HP on this run. Hey, stupid! You could have bought a spirit heart from the, uh... The shop on that last floor. I know. I, I know what I did. I know where you've been. I know where I'm going. But I also... I'm kind of of the opinion that if you're not living life on the edge, what are you doing? And we get a spirit heart right here. Thanks a ton. Uh, flight. You can walk over spikes and over uh, little things on the floor when you have flight, which is pretty nice. Pretty nice. It's quite nice. Uh, we'll just continue on here. I am starting to get to the point where I'm like, am I about to flawless my first run? I mean, I guess I never really realize when I'm trying to play smart uh, how much I already know this game. And if you're just starting Isaac for the first time, uh, don't get discouraged. You're probably not going to make it this far on your first run. There's a chance you might not even survive uh, the first floor on your first run. It's just how it's going to be. Oh, Cursed Eye. I'm going to take this to demonstrate that you shouldn't take this. Okay? Uh, cursed Eye is considered to be one of the most controversial items in the game, despite the damage being okay from it, because we charge it up, and then we fire it, and it'll fire out multiple shots at a time. You're probably like, damn, that seems really freaking good. This is a double bomb room, so we'll bomb in there. Uh, and it's an Isaac bedroom. We'll sleep, and this will give us some HP. And we got Lazarus. That's cool. Uh, but the problem with Cursed Eye is if you get hit while firing, you will get teleported. You can bomb the rug. There's usually a trap door under it. Uh, and in here, we just get some money. That's fine. But uh, if we bomb the... Not if we bomb. If we get hit during Cursed Eye, it'll teleport you uh, to another room. So you can be just about to finish, and then it'll just screw you. And I know that, haha, -ha, sexual joke, you were just about to finish, and then it does something to you. But uh, seriously, it, it's kind of crappy, uh, and is not really considered a good item by many people. There are ways to get rid of the uh, cursed part of Cursed Eye, in which case I suppose it would just be called Eye, but it is still called Cursed Eye. Uh, but we'll talk about those in the future, and I'm sure that the opportunity will come up eventually. Hint, the answer is Black Candle, but uh, I'm pretty sure we don't have Black Candle unlocked. I think that's one that we need to unlock, uh, and I do not have it unlocked. We'll take a look in here. Oh, I really want to do it. This is a challenge room, which means that upon opening these chests, stuff is going to spawn. And we get a Bob's Brain for the room, but we also get Steven, which is a damage upgrade, and we finally got hit. Okay, well, it sucks, but uh, what what can I say? It's not like we, uh, we're we going to flawless this floor anyway. I did take Are You a Wizard, which is really bad. It's going to screw up how we're shooting our shots. So you can see we're now shooting at an angle. That's just a bad pill, uh, and you're going to get those from time to time there are some pills that are good we'll be back to shooting normal soon after these short messages are we back yet no we're still firing stupidly at least we got bob's brain putting in the work another item like cursed eye that is just full of controversy okay we're back to normal here and i see iv bag in the corner and you're probably like tyler what does IV bag do? Or you're like, Tyler, please stop treating us like we've never played Isaac before. This will hurt us uh, and spawn some money. And I think we'll take it just because there are some applications of it that are good. And hopefully we can find those. But we have a ton of money now. 
So if we can get into our shop and donate all of this, I would be the happiest camper on the planet. But we're going to need a key to get in there. And we'll, we'll get a key. I'm confident. I have many confidences. The main confidence being getting a key. Second confidence being that people will enjoy the series. Third confidence being I will eventually graduate college. And fourth confidence being... Oh, God. What's my fourth confidence? I have no idea. Okay, come in here. Humble Bundle's really good. So we're going to buy that. And then we're going to donate the rest of this. Humble Bundle will make all of our consumables. There's our first store upgrade. But it will make all of our consumables drop in pairs, which is really good. We'll get two coins instead of one, two keys instead of one, two bombs instead of one. All very good. Uh, and otherwise, we're cranking the donation machine today, which is good. It's not getting jammed up. If I can get it up to 50 on this run, that'd honestly be so stupid. He did not give us any money. That's fine. Just continue on with the run. I mean, we're, we're going to win this run. I, I don't want to uh, sit here and be like, ooh, it's a little bit undecided. Are we going to win this run? I'd be really, really shocked if we lost. I mean, it's a, a vanilla original Isaac run. We got seven damage, uh, a decent rate of fire. Obviously, Cursed Eye is not the best, but I mean, there are worse items in the game. I can tell you that. This seems like a super secret room if I can actually place the bomb correctly. Yeah, and it totally was. It teleports us to our deal with the devil. And then this is one of those scenarios where do as I say, not as I do. Okay, we're going to play things risky. We're going to buy Guppy's head, which unlocks Azazel. Guppy's head will give us flies whenever we pop our space bar. Uh, and then we're also going to take the pact, which you thought was going to kill us, but it does give us HP back, which makes it a very worthwhile thing. It also gives us a tears upgrade and a damage upgrade. Really, really good deal with the devil right there. We do not want Are You a Wizard. And really, we, we're just guaranteeing we're winning this run. Uh, this is a fantastic setup. We have a Gertie fight. I mean, Gertie fights are not that difficult once you understand uh, how Gertie fights. So we'll take care of business here. Uh, we'll spam shoot a little bit to get some stuff going. And then hopefully we don't get to deal with the devil since we got teleported. But oh well, we did. We got a little chubby. We'll take the HP. Uh, and then honestly, do we want Book of Belial? I don't think we do. It'll give us a damage upgrade uh, as a spacebar item. I think we stick with Guppy's uh, head here and move on to our next floor. Now, the one thing we can do on this run, get out of the way early. I don't know if it'll let us. But we can try to do boss rush. We got teleported to another deal with the devil. We don't want this though. It'll just give us flight and spectral tears, which really we do not need. So we'll just pass on that and continue on. If we make it to uh, the mom fight, which means finishing this floor and one more floor before 20 minutes, we'll make our way to uh, boss rush, which means we got to fight a ton of bosses and it'll be a hellish experience that I don't want to do with this run because it's not that powerful. But we could do it. That's for sure. The curse room, we took damage coming out. Uh, but coming in, since we had flight, it did not do damage to us, which is very cool. It does ruin my ability to get the flawless, uh, no damage depths achievement. But what are you going to do? We got plenty of time to get that achievement. Uh, I'm not overly concerned here and you can really see how piercing tears is beneficial uh, on people like that guy where we basically just let him run in same with this guy we can knock out all of his body at once flatworm is going to make our tears bigger which i suppose is a-ok -okay by me it doesn't make them any more powerful uh, but it does make them bigger so sure what do we got in here mini mush is okay Gives us a speed upgrade. We'll bomb these. Try and get some uh, stuff. I think I'll stick with High Priestess. We can use this to deal uh, some quick damage on our boss here. Some quick damage. Very quick. <laughs> Probably disgusting. Okay, come in here. We do not need compost. But you can see that since we got a shop upgrade, we now have a couple more items in our shop. Now, there's options has appeared. And we'll continue to donate as much as we can here. 60 plus coins on the first run ever is so good for donating. We'll bomb this guy. Hope he drops some money. He dropped some spiders. That's not really what the doctor ordered, if I'm being honest, but I won't complain. I also won't deny my hips won't lie, uh, and I'm starting to feel 
something. I don't know what, but I'm starting to feel something. It's a little tingly feeling. Right in my hips. Because they don't lie. Bombs. I mean, we're getting a crap load of bombs. We can use bombs for combat. Uh, or we can continue to use bombs how we've used them already. Bomb skulls. Bomb stuff like that. Uh, these are all appropriate uses. Bomb for secret rooms, which are probably right here. And you're probably like, Tyler, how in your right mind are you able to guess where those secret rooms are? It's just something that you get better at over time. So you new Isaac players who have no idea what you're doing, don't you worry, young Padawan. You're on your way, friend. Uh, High Priestess, actually, I just failed miserably. It spawns a giant mom foot to deal damage. Uh, and it would've... See, that's why you don't take Cursed Eye, kids. We got hit, and thus we got teleported out. The, uh, the mirror here, it'll just change your appearance. So, not really the end of the world. We'll bomb it, get some pills out of it. Bing, bang, boom, what do we got here? Lemon party, meh. One makes you small. We're very tiny. And then we do have a telepills. I'm not positive what we would use it for, but we do have it. And we've got a pretty low chance at deal with the devil. You can see that in the bottom left right now. It's a 36.25% chance. And really, as long as we're not stupid against Monstro 2 here, uh, we should be able to clear this guy out without any problems whatsoever. And so far, that plan is going just okay. It could be worse. Could be better. But it could be worse. Monstro 2 can pack a punch. The guy's got HP. Uh, and he's got that Brim laser right there. And we'll get Brimstone eventually. Don't you damn even worry. We'll pick up our range upgrade. And then we'll move on down to the last floor of this run. Uh, the mom floor. And hopefully we'll accomplish something. So here's a trick for you. We'll open these. We're going to get head of the keeper and also more stuff. But I'm going to use the telepills and get the hell out of there. Now we don't have to fight that room. Uh, it makes my life significantly easier. It makes your life easier. It makes Jaquan's life easier. You're probably like, Tyler, who's Jaquan? Uh, who's Jaquan to you? And then we can use our death card. And now it's just, you know, we're just basically waltzing to the end of this uh, run here. You're probably like, Tyler, you should not be waltzing. You only have a couple of hearts here. Aren't you a little bit concerned? And, you know, after doing Rebirth Lost runs and stuff like that, it's hard for me to be concerned about pretty much anything at this stage of the game. So, I'm feeling good about things. Especially if this guy ever pops up. Yo, you, you're taking too many hits my friend. Thank you so much. Now, do I know where the boss fight is? I'm looking at the map and I'm like, I'll be honest with you, we were probably closer to the boss fight after our telepills. But we do still have an item room uh, and a shop. And if I can donate these 22 more cents here, I mean, that's a huge donation on our first run. We would already be like close to a tenth of the way there. In our first run. Which is honestly wild to even think about. They're probably like, Tyler, it's not that wild. What kind of person are you to think that that's the wildest thing on the planet? I never said it's the wildest thing on the planet. Obviously, the Wild Wild West is the wildest thing on the planet. But, you're also probably like, Tyler, the Wild Wild West is not that wild. And then there's going to be a small portion of chat that's just like, would just stop freaking saying wild right now. Which I understand. It can be a little wild to think that this is our secret room probably like tyler how uh it's just you know it's how i do we'll come up here we're still looking there's our item room we're hoping to god it gives me some kind of awesome synergy slash damage upgrade brass knuckles is good enough tough love it's the same thing we could have re-rolled it with the re-roll machine in the uh corner of that room but firing out some little teeth that are going to do some extra damage is a good good synergy i'm happy with it extra damage that's exactly what i asked for it wasn't straight damage it just gives us a chance for damage now i'll be honest with you i can barely see my person right now because we're so freaking tiny but i like it we got a luck upgrade from donating it's gonna make our teeth shots fly out significantly faster which is good there's another plus one to our luck 
And hey, if it wants me to keep on donating, I'm gonna keep on donating. Honestly, if we can get this up to 100 on this run, I will be so amped. That would be amazing. So look for money in all forms of life. Wherever you can find it is where I want it to be. Here's our boss fight. I will look for the super secret room. Which I think is right here. And this is unique. Uh, we don't have runes unlocked, which is why this room doesn't have runes. But now we have like a million cards to choose from. Two of diamonds. Okay. We can do something with that. Lovers. Useless. Devil, no. High Priestess, no. Chariot, no. Moon, we don't need. Strength, we don't need. Okay. Carry, well, first of all, pop, pop two of clubs, which is right here. That's going to double our bombs. Two of diamonds is going to double our uh, money. So we want to get into a position where we have enough money to donate everything, which means using all of our bombs to break this machine until it pops out some money. Which it likely will soon. One more. There we go. There's our money. And then we can double that to get 12. And that will be 100 coins into our donation machine. That was what I call fine living. And actually we're going to do something even wilder. Blow this up. That's going to give us this money. But then doubling that we're going to be able to put more back in. How do you like them apples? That's called math. And for those of you that have never mathed in your life before, you don't even know what you're missing. Store upgrade level 2, already beautiful. And I couldn't be happier about it. And it finally jams. What a time to be alive. Okay, so we will head down. We're going to fight Mom here. The run's going to end. And then we're going to promptly restart uh, with probably Azazel to go quickly here. And we're going to go try and beat Mom's heart uh, on the next run so that we can then go ahead and play with mods on from here on out. And that will be a good start to the road to a million percent. Now, if you have no idea what's going on in this mom fight, basically this tutorial is over. Uh, you're on your own. I'm tired of explaining things. Uh, it felt weird to this entire run. You'll pick it up as you go. Uh, and if you have questions, always feel free to ask me in the comments. I will help out pretty much anybody. Please. Please. Isaac. Beautiful. Isaac, blah, 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 blah. There's mom. She's wanting to stab me. Isaac is sad. Okay, yeah. Isaac, blah, 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 blah. They're unhappy. We unlocked the womb. We unlocked challenges. I'll be honest with you. Probably going to do the challenges off camera. Just because I don't want to do them. So, if I had a way to just hack them in, <laughs> I'll probably do that. Uh, but we'll see. Yeah, we're going to un be unlocking everything. Yep, yep, okay, cool, awesome. Unlocked a lot of stuff. I've killed mom. Let's do an Azazel run. And you're probably like, Tyler, who is Azazel? Azazel is a little mini demon who fires out a brimstone. So we're going to be doing mad dope damage, which is exactly what I want to do. And it's basically a speed run at this point. We're trying to make our way through the womb as fast as possible uh, to successfully rescue the princess and then save the Mushroom Kingdom. Sound good? Hope it does. Uh, crack into this. What do we got in the item room? It's Linger Bean, which is not good at all. Sucks to be me. But we are the most powerful character in the game, arguably. Meaning as in you can argue it. This guy does have good damage to start, though, as you can see right here. It's just the range that we're a little bit concerned about early. But it's nothing we can't take care of. We should be able to really... Uh, do some good stuff here. So throw down a bomb. There was a tinted rock. We get ourselves a spirit heart. This guy can pick up red HP. Uh, so if we get an HP upgrade, he'll be able to take it uh, and get a heart from it. Unlike some characters in the game is all I'm going to say. Uh, a la Blue Baby. A la The Lost. A la A la. Book of Revelations has appeared in the basement. Good to know. Cuba Meat, head on down, boys. It's always good when you can clear a floor in a minute. I like that. Now, we do have Curse of the Blind, which means we won't be able to see what items we're taking. Which is a little sucky, and it makes for an interesting deal with the devil scenario. As the deal with the devil items will just be 
giant question marks and we will have no idea what we're taking and you're probably like well in that case shouldn't you just not take them yeah uh but i'm i'm the berenstein bears dad and i do stupid things for the entertainment of others so i will end up taking probably all of them and then dying what is this charmer the vampire really bad gives me hp back when killing things but we don't have any hp really to get back because we don't have any red hearts and it will not refill spirit hearts so kind of sucky but it doesn't mean much it just means we're gonna be okay we'll take rosary bead why not and then we'll fight little horn this is a quick and easy floor it is gonna be a bit of speed running right here uh because we're trying to not have this be a seven hour isaac video so take this it's blue cap that's hp and then we didn't even get any items in here so that is fine just head on out head on down Enjoy your day, bring it around town, and then take the lid. The lid, 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 okay. Be oh, we got hit. Why'd you do this to me? I did not want to get hit, but oh well. We're doing fine. I mean, it, it's, it's a little bit sucky that we have to do two runs without any mods in a modded series, but it's going to be okay. We'll be fine. This is a nice room. Okay, I mean, that's a real nice room. I'm going to take the most modded item, which is Angelic Prism, and you're going to be like, what does this do, Tyler? Oh, you just wait and see. Bing, bang, boom. It's cool. I like it. Uh, and the reasoning that we got a deal with the angel here is because we did not take a deal with the devil. There were no items from it, so we had a chance at a deal with the angel, and I guess that chance ended up being uh, significantly greater than we may have thought. Get it? We picked up Thought. Even though it's Angelic Prism, it's it's still thought in my mind. And it's going to do good damage for us if we can ever line it up. Uh, and it, it, I think we'll be able to get some good stuff out of it. Crack this. Crank that thing for me. I don't know why that chest has a depression cloud. It's a little bit weird. We'll take Thunder Thighs. It's going to kill our speed. We're going to be quite slow, but we are going to get a little bit more HP, which just guarantees me that I will be probably winning this run without any issues whatsoever but once again things happen people change you know your girlfriend dumped you last week it's sad but you move on it's also because you're ugly i'm kidding that's not any of you that are recovering recovering from a breakup don't listen to me right now ow okay that's karma right there karma is a son of a gun let me tell you more money. I would love to donate more if we can swing that. And a chariot card is okay. But I think the stars card offers us a little bit more. It'll teleport us to our item room whenever we need it. And it's a good way to teleport out of a uh, boss trap or mob trap room. Or even boss rush. But we're not going to go there today probably. I mean we're likely going to make it to boss rush. Just because we're on time and on target to. We're going to thought this guy up. You can see the damage it does. Angelic Prism, my bad. We'll get a second level cube of meat, which is not that great, but then we'll head on down. This floor, in, entirely this run, uh, is going just A-OK -okay, Peachy Keen. This is exactly what I wanted uh, doing a quick and easy Azazel run. We'll be able to knock off uh, some early post-its with this guy, which is fan uh, And we'll be able to just... Get a good jump start on this series. Doing good. And you know what they say, when it's going good, it's going great. Because I'm Superman with the wind in his bag, she's lowest lane. I'll stop doing bad Marshall Mathers impersonations. Tyler, that song's not by Marshall Mathers, that song's by Eminem. Okay, you little young one. Apparently you don't understand. Uh, freaking rap humor. Is that what I would call that? I don't know what I would call that, honestly. It's not really any humor. It's just a political statement. Russia did 9-12. Okay, come through here. What do we got? Bruh, Clown of the Blood of the Martyr, Crown of the Martyr, same thing. Uh, it's just a damage upgrade. It's not a great one. It's one of those items that you're okay with picking up, but it's not going to transform your run uh, in any way, shape, and form. Lucky Rock has appeared in the basement. But that's good. I think that's because we broke a bunch of rocks. It's wild how that works. 
I forget how many just like weird, lame Isaac achievements there are. There's a lot of them. And we'll have all of them eventually. On this road to a million, a million, a million, a million, a mil, mil, million. Right, we'll eventually get there, but for now, just allow me to find my boss fight. If we can beat like the run in under 10 minutes, that would be amazing. It ain't gonna happen, but it would be quite fantastic. Uh, do some orbital damage to Gertie. If we can get Thought to do some stuff for us, that would be swell. Oh, we just missed it again. Get it on the side. Get on the side. Oh, yeah, boys. Get freaking Rochambeau. We'll take our HP, and we'll get the hell out of here. We'll have a 100% chance with Deal with the Devil on the next floor. Uh, I don't know if it'll maybe give us a Deal with the Angel instead. We'll figure that out. Crank that thing for me. Uh, you know what? I will not take the Ember card. I'll take the Stars card. It'll give us triple shot, which is going to really, really hurt our rate of fire. But it is going to do more damage. And it's going to look wild with thought. Yeah, no, it looks good. But, uh, we will be going back to that room. Safety scissors is actually okay. We'll be going back to that room to get the Emperor card, though. Because we're going to end up using that in the womb one. Because I hate the womb. And we'd actually have a chance of getting the Womb Flawless achievement uh, if we use that uh, Emperor card and get out of the first floor of the Womb. Then we just gotta Flawless the second floor, which is not that difficult. Okay, continue. Make your way through life, death, the resurrection. All of those are needed here. And then we don't need our item room anymore. We just need to find our boss fight, which is clearly going to be somewhere in this direction because there's a dead end on this side. I think, yeah, there's definitely a dead end on this side. You're the luckiest human being on the planet. Thank you. And I want my Emperor card back. That Emperor card is going to be quite useful for Tyler. So please, and thank you, take your Emperor card. We could pop it right now, but that's a little short-sighted, honestly. We still have a couple more floors to do, which is fine. I don't want to ruin all experiences for you guys. We got hit, but who cares? We're still doing A-OK. -okay. Tonsil, eh, I'm enjoying Ace of Spades getting some extra cards here. And you'll learn over time what trinkets do if you're still looking for a tutorial from me. Uh, frankly, I don't know what half of the trinkets do, so... It's kind of one of those things that you just learn over time. You also learn that Ragman's the biggest pain in the freaking rear. I hate this guy. I literally despise this room, honestly. Uh, get a speed upgrade, which is so necessary. And then, interesting. Yeah, sure, we'll take Guppy's tail, but I don't really think we need flight and spectral tears, which we already have. Let's go to the shop. I want to donate more money. And our shop is likely going to be right here. Yeah, okay. Uh, so in here we get deck of cards is not great. We're going to crank our body on this to get some extra money. And then we're going to donate all of it. We can't donate it because I am stupid. Anyway, we'll be able to re-roll this into something we can buy. We don't really need the habit because we don't have a space bar item. Humble bundle, sure. We'll just make this the humble bundle run and then we'll buy a spirit heart as well. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, it'll be mom floor next. We could pop the Emperor card here and go straight to Mom, but that's a little short-sighted. And I think that our best move is to save our Emperor card for our womb floor. So, this is this is good. Bang, bang, boom. Crank into this. We don't really need keys because we ain't going to the chest on this run. We could play this guy, honestly. And that would be an intelligent idea. But we're not going to... Uh, simply because I can't be bothered. We'll take a free ghost baby, though. Hangman is useless. You know what? I can be bothered now. There's hearts in that other room, so... We'll, we'll, we'll play this guy. I'll give him the light of day. But you gotta pay out with something great. Eh, little horn's okay. I don't even know if it works with his Azel, so... On that note, I can't get too, too hyped. But if it does work with Zazel, then obviously it is pretty good, uh, and I'm happy with it. I wish we could activate uh, Thought more. It just needs to be like the tiniest bit bigger, but it would be a little bit overpowered if it did that. So, 
I understand. Probably like Tyler, what is understand? It's a German character in the keyboard. An understand? Understand? I don't even remember what I said now. That's the problem with half of the jokes I make uh, in anything, is half the time I don't even remember the joke I make second after. That's okay, though. Okay. Come up here. Come over here, my dear sweetie. Pumpkinhead you. And then just crank on these fools. Crank these fools for me. Where the hell's our boss fight? We found a, our item room, which I honestly kind of forgot we had. And we don't even have a key to access it. Which is slightly unfortunate. Unless this gives me a key. Which it didn't. We get a strength card. Could be useful, but we don't really care. All I want, one key. You're kidding me, right? You're keating me, right? Boo, get off the stage. Okay. One key, please. No keys. Well, screw the item room. We don't need it anyway. Uh, let's fight Mama here. Rip. Uh, get Cat and Ninetales. And then we could go do boss rush. But I'm not going to. We'll save that for another day. Let's head down to the womb. Uh, we're going to pop our Emperor card immediately. Teleport to our boss fight. It's Mama Gertie. My mama said, my mama said, none do you say you won't. But I got news for you. Until I do say I don't. I don't know how to actually sing that song. But mama said, my mama said, mama said, my mama said. Uh, we're not going to take this. And the reasoning is I'm starting to get a little bit concerned about my HP. So we're going to head on down. That's called Tyler is a scaredy little cat who talks a big talk but can't walk the walk. This is a frightening room, honestly. But it worked out well. Two of diamonds. We unlock Kane. It's good. Uh, High Priestess has benefit. How much benefit? Not a lot of benefit, but it has some benefit. In a room, if we get a crappy enemy, uh, we pop High Priestess, get rid of it. We can't use it on Mom, uh, sadly. Or else that would be the surefire thing to do here. That bomb was the greatest placement of all time. Two of clubs, just pop. Crank that. I, I'm actually the stupidest human being on the planet. Because I should have known that that was not going to do how I wanted it to do. And whatever you do, just don't die, Tyler. That's going to ruin a lot of our plans, honestly beautiful and get one more up in there up in there y'all gonna make me lose my minds up in there up in there only one guy one little friend hello friend good night friend uh okay come in here i mean this is a crappy room it's like really horrible but it's nothing we can't handle a battery charge we got a hp back from a freaking vampire charm of the vampire i hate it dude I should be happy, but I hate the fact that, that item actually helped me. And welcome to Isaac, where uh, items you think are useless come back in the end to help you. Heart? No heart. Mom's toenail, which is not good at all. Uh, and this is the kind of room that can be sketch. I think it's gonna be a sketchy time. Please. Why? Yo, I don't like this at all! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh. What do you do here, huh? Extra long video day? Let's do it. Varicose veins. I mean, this is actually a very good synergy. We just gotta find a way to get hit without getting hit. I'm so stupid. Uh, do as I say, not as I do. This is not how I wanted to start this series. I wanted a nice win. Feel like the big man on campus. Instead, I look like the friggin' idiot. There's varicose veins in action. This is why you play Isaac for stuff like that. But, God, I'm so stupid. Okay, well, at least y'all understand Isaac. Now, we can start talking about the real important things, like whether or not... Uh, raw sushi is the better sushi, because I've had a lot of really good sushi, uh, that contained zero raw fish. So, 
I don't know about you, but sometimes just give me the California roll. I'll be happy. I'm going to take a sip of water. I didn't expect to be talking for this freaking long today. Who knew that when you go to record a video, you're going to actually have to re sit and talk? Stupid idiot, Tyler. Okay, we're actually, like, really powerful already on this run. And as long as we don't take triple shot, I'll be honest with you, that probably screwed us because it slowed down our rate of fire so much. Another Fool's card teleports you to the beginning, which is fine. Stupid idiot, Tyler. Hashtag blame Tyler and blame Jay in the comments. What do we got in here? Multi-dimensional baby. It's actually okay with uh, Azazel. Unless it stays at the beginning of the room forever. No, he won't. He won't, mate. You won't. Okay. Just take care of the little flies that are running away from you. They're scared. That's why. They know that I am the superior being. And I don't blame them. I'd be scared of me too. But that's no big deal. Uh, energy we don't need because we don't have any space bar. But if you want to give me a Tammy's head out of the middle of nowhere, I would love it. I would be the happiest camper on this side of the campground. Let's fight Larry Jr. here. Uh, boss deal devil? We might not be able to take anything. We can actually take Brimstone. We're going to take Brimstone. Uh, and that will give us a full Brim bar. We are on half of a heart, and you're probably like, Tyler, I've seen this, uh, seen this before. You're gonna die. I disagree. At full range, we'll be able to just absolutely demolish everything. Half a heart means nothing when you got that brim. One of the best items in the game. Uh, if not the best, many people will say it's the best. A lot of people will say it ain't even close to the best. I think it's one of the best. And I'm quite happy to have it right now, honestly. Because if I can make this uh, journey slightly easier for myself, it's like Kevin Durant. I'm taking the hardest road right now. And taking Brimstone was definitely the hardest road. Rip. Uh, just continue to rip everybody to shreds. Yeah, this is going well. Get Smart Fly, which is actually a very good fly item, but it requires me getting hit, which we can't really afford to do right now. And if there's any room that I could get hit in, this is the one to get hit in. Uh, because those enemies suck. And I'm not talking S-U-C-C. Because we ain't even playing as a Zazel yet. There's a key. And we get Mega Maw. Which. Rip. Uh, and please, just some HP. Safety pin is HP. We cannot take that. So move on with your day. Enjoy your day, my good friend. Peace out. Tyler out. Okay, and then we can't actually get the flawless of uh, beating the caves without getting hit if we finish this floor without getting hit. Which we don't need it, but I would really love to get it. Because uh, it's just one more achievement that we accomplish on this video. And I know you're looking at this going, Tyler, this is a 48 minute video. When's the last time you put out a video this long? It's the first of the series. We're trying to accomplish things. I've almost been recording this video for as long as one of my streams lasts, which is wild to think about because it don't feel like it, but what are you going to do? That was almost horrible damage. There is a card there. A two of diamonds would be awesome. I do want to continue to donate as much as possible, and this pill could be bad. Why, thank you. Uh, this pill could be bad trip, which will ruin our... Uh flawless opportunity so i don't really want to go down that train instead i'll take my drops of jupiter in my head right here and uh take two of diamonds instead haha ha, i get the pun tyler said train and then you use a train song to make a bad joke afterward haha ha, tyler is hilarious thank you so much i appreciate that uh kind compliment oh you're saying that i'm complimenting myself oh i didn't even notice you smart look smart good looking son of a gun you tyler Okay, just continue to crank on enemies. This will give us the flawless of the floor. Uh, we do actually still want to go to our item room, though. Because something like Tammy's head provides benefit. Spelunker Boy achievement. Beautiful. Take your beautiful amount of HP as well. 
And then let's go find our item room and even our shop. They're most likely going to be down this road, but there's the shop. Shop contains nothing of value. Uh, I think we pop this now, blow this guy up. I mean, we should have popped it after that, but just donate 13 more cents. Continue to crank that donation machine up. 120 in one episode is actually kind of wild. I never thought the day would come. That's almost like higher than my machine is on my other save file right now. And we really don't need to go back for this item room, uh, but every little bit helps, you know? I don't want a scenario like last time. We don't talk about that, but I don't want a scenario like last time. We can't even open that. Let's get the hell out of here. We can flawless the depths too. Uh, that would be swell. And then we flawless the womb. That would be swell. Uh, and then we are able to use our mons. And that'll be even more swell. Head on down. I'm going to take some water break. Head on down to the water hole. Call me an elephant. Because I'm fat, ugly, and love water. Elephants aren't ugly, though. They're really cute. Nope. I'm going to hashtag nope right out of that room. Beautiful. Take a key. I mean, we should take this key as well. And sure, I'll take your damn pill. One makes you larger. I'm ready. Little do they know where that's making me larger. Something's wrong? Yeah, if I'm bleeding out black, that seems uh, problematic, honestly. Rip. What are you? Bombs are key. I suppose that's okay, but it's also not that okay. Golden Poop is going to give us some money. And money is beneficial. Beautiful. That's a lot of money. Rip. And we will fight this now. It's the cage. The cage is annoying, honestly. If there's any chance for us to lose our flawless, this is the room to do it in. Yep, we did lose our flawless. That's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll get it another time. I'm not concerned. Delio with the Devilio. Uh, bombs are key pill again. And frankly, I don't want any of these. I would rather keep my HP where it's at uh, and not harm it. What we are going to do is... Are you a wizard? That's pretty bad. We are going to look for our item room and our shop. Because I know they're going to be near. Are you a wizard? Didn't even affect us. Yeah, they're both right here. We'll be able to donate a little bit more uh, and also get a hopefully amazing item that will just benefit our run in ways that you don't even know. Even though you can probably take a couple solid guesses. What do we got? Cricket's head. I mean, yeah, that is a fantastic item. Plus five damage. And that will blow this guy up. Donate more money. 125, boys. I love it. And give me 130, big daddy. Beautiful. Let's go move on to our next floor here. I mean, this is our secret room. I'll pop it. And it's a greed fight. Relatively useless. We get Steam Sale, which is swell. We get Guppy's Head, which is swell. Uh, these are all great things. And we're able to escape this way. Just, I mean, take this and then head on down. It's Mom Floor. Mom Floor is okay. We'll do A-OK -okay on there. We're going to be doing a stupid amount of damage now. I'm just warning you. Because Cricket's Head uh, plus these flies. These flies, though, they're going to be doing some dope damage. Thanks for the sub, Mr. Golden Key. It's my stupid subscriber uh, notifier on Streamlabs is the Golden Key sound. So it makes me think I get a sub every time I get a Golden Key. But if that was the case, I'd actually be famous on YouTube. Ayo! Okay. Little Loki, rest in pieces, my young Padawan. Uh, and then we'll continue down this way. A little bit of mapping so I can actually see where I'm going would be kind of nice, but apparently that's not allowed this early on in a series. Lemon Party. Useless. At least for me right now. On a boss fight, maybe, but right now... Not really all that beneficial. Curse of the Tower, I mean, it's not a smart pickup for us, really. But I like the item, so I'm going to take it when I can. Monstro's Lung. Okay, well, this has become a very special run. Yep. 
This is good. These are good things. I love when I get uh, fun synergies on runs that I'm trying to care as little about as possible. That's a pretty beautiful life. Okay, so mom, what do you got going on? Yup. Rip you. Uh, and head on down. We're not doing boss rush. It's not worth it. So, womb. We meet again, my young friend. The goal is to finish this video before it's an hour long. Is it possible? Absolutely. I'm going to try my best. Okay, I'm actually a little bit afraid. Beautiful. And now sneak your way out of this room. Beautiful. Life is gonna be okay. Life is gonna be really okay. I don't know why I've had Elton John's Rocket Man stuck in my head for so long. It just won't leave. You know, there's some songs that get stuck in your head. And then, like, it takes a couple days. I swear to God, Rocket Man's been stuck in my head for this entire summer. And it's not the most fantastic position to be in. Because the problem is, it's such a good song that you can't hate yourself for it, so then you continue to sing it. But the problem is, you should not, like, that's far too long for a song to be in one skull. Um, Strimmer, the, uh, the skull doesn't actually retain any information. It's the brain part of your, uh, head that does that. The skull is just a skeletal piece. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, how fast can we do this damn floor? I wish we had an XL floor, because frankly that would make this ten times easier, but... We'll be fine. Sister Vis, I mean, Sister Goodnight is more like it. Sister Christian... Oh, there's actually something there. Sister Vis, you know you are the one. You are the most annoying boss in the womb today. Okay. If you saw what we did there, we took nine lives, uh, which we have Guppy's heads. We're an item away from Guppy. I don't want to do this, <laughs> honestly. Uh, going down to the shield today when I just need to beat mom like it's okay we don't need to if it opens up after the mom fight then sure sign me up but it probably won't because we'll end up in a stupid cutscene that I don't want to watch but we're just trying to get to the point where we can use our mods and then life is going to be happy hunky dory and everything is going to be okay it's going to be a okay time <laughs> People are like, Tyler's getting delusional, just let him finish the run. And Tyler's going, I'm getting delusional, just let me finish the run. 58 minutes on my recording right now. It's going to be a little different for you guys, because of the whole editing thing. But my freaking lord. Okay. Beautiful. You're doing, you're doing fine work. Why? You were supposed to not lead me to a dead end. Stupid man. Lead me to dead end. Make me really mad. Now that one didn't work as much. Sister Vis, there's something there. Night Rangers, Sister Vis. Sister Vis, you know you are the one. You two will always make me my runs done today okay mom you know you never had a chance we're gonna go into this big old chest today we unlocked rap bay bay and eden and the ability to use our mods thanks so much for watching if you guys enjoyed remember to leave a like leave a comment subscribe this is the new road to a million series apologies for the stupidly long video uh but we have accomplished great things and we can get the modded part of the series started in the next episode. So, thanks. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. Bye!